nearly all of the lectures and tutorials here will involve some programming in MATLAB. So I thought I would take a few minutes to discuss uh, the role of programming and MATLAB in particular in neuroscience data analyses. So why should you learn uh, programming in the first place? Um, programming, I think, is a very important skill in science. The more you can program, the more comfortable you are programming, the more unconstrained you will be by data analysis software packages. Um, and this is because software packages are not necessarily custom tailored to the analyses that you need to be doing to test your hypotheses. And so um, uh, freeing yourself from the constraints of software packages or the capabilities of software packages will often allow you to have a lot more um, freedom in doing analyses. Even if you um, are not programming all of your analyses yourself, but instead are using toolboxes, I still think it's very important to understand what is happening to your data when you press certain buttons or run certain lines of, uh, of code that you copied from a website tutorial or from somewhere else. Um, I believe that programming is also an important skill set that is transferable to other aspects of um, of being a scientist and, and critical thinking more generally. Programming involves um, or requires the ability to take a, a large problem and break it down into more sizable, um, approachable um, sub-components or sub-processes and um, translate that uh, each of those sub-processes into um, very well-structured, unambiguous lines of code. And I think this level of critical thinking and problem solving is also important in science more generally. Um, I am quite partial to MATLAB. It's certainly not the only software package or programming uh, environment that you can use for analyzing uh, neuroscience and electrophysiology data, but MATLAB is, is a very good one. It is nearly ubiquitous across research labs uh, around the world. Um, and MATLAB is good for many jobs, whether you stay in science or um, uh, in, well, certainly science or, or engineering related jobs outside of science, outside of uh, academia. <laughs> oh yes, and this is my reminder to say that MATLAB is, of course, not the only programming um, environment that is appropriate and that can be used for analyzing data. There's also Python and R and many other languages. Uh, that can be used for analyzing neuroscience data, although uh, we will only be using MATLAB in these lectures. So why should you do your EEG analyses in MATLAB? Um, as I mentioned before, this gives you, uh, being able to program your own analyses gives you maximal flexibility to test your hypotheses. Neuroscience and, and uh, electrophysiology are, is a fairly young field, and so we don't really know exactly what the best um, ways of analyzing the data are. And in particular, the um, appropriate and, and optimal ways for analyzing certain kinds of data may not be the optimal ways of analyzing other kinds of data. And so the more you can program, uh, the more flexibility you will have to custom tailor the analyses that are, that are best suited for your hypotheses and your data exploration uh, adventures. Even if you're not um, uh, programming all of your data analyses yourself and, and you're using some uh, MATLAB toolboxes, I still think it's very important to understand what happens to your data when you press the Analyze Now button on your um, software toolbox or run some copied and, and pasted lines of code that you got from someone else. And so the more you are comfortable um, working with MATLAB code, the better you will be able to understand what happens to your data. Um, using Mat so because MATLAB is 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 fairly ubiquitous around research labs in in the world, um, working with MATLAB also promotes sharing, and I think that um, uh, sharing and openness in 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 science is becoming increasingly important, uh, particularly in neuroscience. And using a common platform like MATLAB um, facilitates sharing analysis protocols and, and data analysis scripts. So uh, you could also ask why should you do your um, why should you program all of your own analyses? Why not use um, EEG Lab or Field Trip or Brain Vision Analyzer or any of the other 
many toolboxes and software packages that are out there for analyzing uh, neurophysiology data. There must be, you know, 20 or 30 different um, uh, toolboxes and software packages for analyzing data. So there's really no reason not to use these. You should feel relatively confident that uh, these um, particularly more widely used toolboxes and software programs are validated, they're, uh, they're, they're correct, you know, the algorithms are, are fine. Um, so you can use other toolboxes or software packages entirely or integrate, um, for example, EEG lab functions with, with uh, your own uh, code, or you can be inspired by some field trip function and use that to develop your own analyses. I think the important thing here is that um, toolboxes have a set of defined um, or default uh, um, parameters and settings, and these might not necessarily be the optimal parameters for your data. And so the more you can understand um, the mechanics of these analyses and how uh, the analyses are actually implemented in MATLAB code, the better you will be able to optimize your analysis procedures to make sure you're not making mistakes or making any um, suboptimal choices for your um, for your analyses. Okay, so how do you learn MATLAB? There are many uh, great books, there are many website tutorials. Um, hopefully you have many or at least a few patient colleagues and friends who are willing to help you. Um, this tutorial, I'm not going to talk about, uh, or not go going to have a whole tutorial just on introduction to MATLAB programming. I think it's it's better and faster and more efficient uh, for you to learn MATLAB on your own. Um, so uh, let me see. But that said, I do have these two MATLAB scripts on the website, which are actually just renamed um, files from uh, code that you can download with. The book, these are from chapter 4, the code corresponding to chapter 4, scripts A and B. Um, this script introduces you to variables and functions and scripts. Um, and the second script for plotting introduces you to um, the kind of basic ways to visually represent data. <coughs> and so what I recommend doing here is going through these um, scripts line by line and running each line of code and making sure you understand uh, what each line of code does. And so here, for example, we are adding two variables. Um, so you can go through these line by line and um, make sure you also read the comments so um, you are getting a sense of uh, what each of these um, pieces of code um, is doing. So, and then here's the plotting one, which will do some basic plotting and also go to some slightly more um, sophisticated plotting. Don't worry, that error is actually supposed to be there. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, so this is not uh, going to teach you everything you've ever wanted to know about how to program in MATLAB. However, um, most of, uh, or I should say, the um, analyses that we will be doing from now on, and, and almost everything that we will be doing in MATLAB from now on, will rely on the kinds of functions and, and variable types that are presented um, in these scripts. So if you can understand every line of code in these two scripts, you will be um, in a very good position to, um, to, to learn a lot about um, EEG data analyses uh, without worrying about getting left behind by the code. So um, go through these and, uh, and good luck.